Today, should it become mandatory to wear a face mask out in public in Cincinnati? The debate is on. After Dayton does this, WCPO 9 News anchor Tamika Artis has a sense of where our local leaders stand on this at this point. Good morning, Tamika. Yeah, good morning to you, Julia. Just to give you some idea of the figures, uh, Ohio saw about 1,000 new cases of coronavirus between Monday and Tuesday. That is a very disturbing trend, and the hot spot in the entire state is right here in Hamilton County. And so people are really, really starting to talk about this. The consensus is that many of us are just getting complacent. We are just not wearing our masks the way that we should. And so health experts have said all along that with social distancing, the protective coverings are the most effective way of stopping the spread of coronavirus. Well, after Dayton announced that it will now be imposing an $85 fine for anyone not wearing a mask in public, several Cincinnati leaders voiced their opinions largely in support of making them a requirement here in Cincinnati as well. For example, Councilman Greg Landsman uh, tweeting overnight that if everyone wears a mask, we can stop the spread of COVID, save lives, keep our economy open, and let our children go back to school. PG Sittenfeld tweeting, wearing masks is clearly the right thing to do. However, council members Jan Michelle and Kearney and Jeff Pastor say that requiring a mask and imposing a fine goes a bit too far, but both support some kind of an, a warning instead so that we don't continue to hurt local businesses. In the meantime, a councilman, Chris Seelbach, he is in strong support of us wearing masks. In fact, he says that if the mayor does not, in fact, uh, have some sort of emergency ordinance in place, that he's going to bring it up at the next legislative session, which is next week. Of course, WCPO 9 will be there. We'll see what happens, see if it will become a requirement here in Cincinnati as well. Reporting live this morning, I'm Tamika Artis, WCPO 9 News.